All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm here to show you how to change the set of buttons that DS4 Windows displays when you're using it to play games. So a lot of people ask me, hey, Larry, how do you display PlayStation buttons rather than Xbox buttons? Because it's kind of confusing when I play games. And the simple answer is all you have to do is when you've got DS4 Windows open, click on edit here on the controller that you want to adjust settings for. And then inside of here, there is the other tab. And at the very top of the other tab, it says emulate controller, switch from Xbox 360 to DualShock 4. And then you can hit save at the top. And now your computer will think that this is a PlayStation controller instead of an Xbox controller. Do note that the reason why this pretends to be an Xbox controller in the first place is not every piece of software and not every game knows what to do with a PlayStation controller. So if you've switched this setting and it stops working all of a sudden, you'll have to revert it, just so you know. So if you wanna switch it back, all you have to do is hit edit again, go back to the other tab, and then just switch the emulated controller type back to Xbox 360. You can hit save at that point. The whole idea behind DS4 Windows is it's meant to intercept your controller inputs and then translate them into Xbox inputs. That way it has the maximum amount of compatibility with every single program that accepts a controller on Windows, just because the Xbox controller is literally built into the operating system at this point. And this will work for PlayStation 4 controller, it'll work for PS5 controller, technically it'll work for Nintendo controllers as well, but I don't know why you'd want that, but you can do it. It just tells it, it just emulates a, play, a PlayStation controller rather than an Xbox controller. You can even go back in here and you can even disable the virtual controller emulator entirely. And then Windows will just accept the controller as it is when you connect it to your computer, either via Bluetooth or with a cable. So there you have it. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. And have a good one.